I'm Deborah Bortart, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. Charlotte Fiji, unfortunately, passed away this week. You may recall that she came to fame as that sweet little girl who suffered hundreds of seizures a day from a rare condition called Dravet syndrome. She was the patient that inspired the Colorado-based Stanley Brothers to create a CBD-heavy version of cannabis to treat her condition back in 2011. She was 13 um, at her age of passing, and a family friend posted on Facebook, Charlotte is no longer suffering. She is seizure-free forever. And in kind of related news, the DEA confirmed that the GW Pharmaceuticals cannabidiol drug Epidiolex is no longer subject to the Controlled Substances Act. The DEA's letter means that all federal controlled substance restrictions have been removed for Epidiolex. That means that prescriptions for Epidiolex will now be valid for one year and they can be easily transferred between pharmacies. Truly reported revenues this week of $252 million for 2019. That was a 100 146% increase over last year. The net income for the year, not a net loss, but the net income for the year was $178 million. Harvest Health and Recreation reported full year revenue increased by 149% to $116 million in 2019, but the net loss for the full year was an eye-popping $173 million. Kushko Holdings reported that its net revenue decreased 14% in the fiscal second quarter to $30 million. Their net loss for the quarter was $44 million. The price of Hexo plunged another 22% after shareholders learned that the company announced a $40 million offering. That stock was at roughly 54 cents, down from a week, 52-week high of $8.40. We do have a couple of acquisitions to mention. Akerna acquired Trellis in an all-stock deal valued at $2 million. New Leaf Brands signed a letter of intent to purchase Colorado-based Midasine Group in an all-stock deal valued at $850,000. Midasine is a company that works with mushrooms. And that's it for this week. Everyone, please stay safe out there. I'm Deborah Bortart, reporting for the Green Market Report.